welcome back so the next chapter is time frame and top down analysis so as a price action trader your primary time frame is the 1 hour the 4 hour and the daily price action works on bigger time frames if you try to trade pin bars or engulfing bar on the 5 minute time frame you will lose your money because there is a lot of noise on smaller time frames and the market will generate lot of false signals because of the hard battle between the bears and bulls besides there is no successful price action trader who focus on one time frame to analyze his chart maybe you have heard of term top and down analysis which means to begin with bigger time frames to get the bigger picture and then you switch to the smaller one to decide whether to buy or sell the market let's say you want to trade the four hour chart you have to look at the weekly chart first then the daily chart if the weekly chart and daily chart analyze analysis align with the four hour chart you can then take your trading decision meaning if your weekly chart daily chart is saying bullish uptrend market and our four chart also staying saying uptrend market then you can take your trading decision if you want to trade the one hour chart you have to look at the daily chart first this is a critical steps to do as a price action trader because this will help you avoid low probability trading setup and it will allow you to stay focused on high probability price action signal though on top down analysis we always start with the bigger time frame and we look for to gather the following information the most important support and resistance level this area represents turning point in the market if you can identify them on the weekly chart you will know which what is going to happen when the price approaches this these levels and the four hour chart so if you will decide either to buy or to sell or to ignore the signal you get from the market so you will decide either to buy to sell or to ignore the signal you get from the market the market structure the weekly analysis will help identify if the market is trending up or down or it is ranging or a choppy market in in general you will know what the bigger investors are doing and you will try to find a way to follow them on the smaller time frame using more price action strategy be very careful you will try to find a way to follow the bigger investor on the smaller time frame using my price action strategy the previous candle the last candle on the weekly chart is important because it tells us what happens during a week and it provides us with valuable information about the future market move when you identify these points using the weekly chart you can now move to daily chart or the four hour chart and try to gather information such as the market conditions whether the market is doing what the market is doing on the four hour time frame is it trending or up or down is it ranging or is it a choppy market what are the most important key levels on the four hour and daily time frame this could be support and resistance supply and demand area trade lines price action signal a candlestick pattern that will provide you with a signal to buy or short the market this could be a pin bar engulfing bar or an inside bar let me give you an example to help you understand why it is important to adopt the top down analysis concept in your trading method and what is going to happen if you don't look at the bigger time frame before switching to your primary chart look at the illustration below as you can see in this weekly chart above we have gathered two important points that will help you decide what to do on the daily time frame the first point is that the market approaches to an important weekly resistance level that will represent a hot point in the market the second information is the rejection from these key resistance level as you can see the price will reject immediately when it approaches this the level this indicate that this area that these are sellers there and they are willing to sort the market 
What confirms our analysis is the formation of inside bar false breakout pattern that indicates a re reversal. Now let's switch to a daily time frame to see what is going on in the market. On daily chart, we have a clear pin bar candlestick that indicates a bullish signal. If you focus just on one time frame to make a trading decision, you will buy the market because there is a clear pin bar signal. But if you analyze the weekly chart, you would know that there is a very powerful key level that will stop the market from going up. So it's better to think of selling the market if there is a clear signal rather than to buy it. Look at what happened next. As you can see, the top down analysis works. The pin bar candlestick signal didn't work because the weekly resistance level was powerful. Turning point that reversed the market direction. If you want to trade price action based on one time frame, I highly recommend you to stop trading because you will end up losing your entire trading account and you will never become a successful trader. Trading counter trends is very profitable as well. Trading counter trends is very pro profitable as well. But without the top down analysis, you will put yourself in trouble. Let me give you another example to show how you can trade counter trends using your price action trading setup in combination with the top down analysis concept. As you can see in the chart above, price at the weekly are at weekly resistance level. Buyers are rejected twice from the level, with, which indicates that the market is at a hot point and it, it, it is likely to reverse. What you can do as a price action trader is to switch to the daily time frame to look for a selling opportunity. If you can find a price action setup nearly the weekly resistance level on the daily time frame, that is going to be a high probability setup to take into consideration. See the example below. The daily chart above confirms on a weekly analysis. As you can see, there is a clear bearish signal near the weekly resistance level. The pin bar was rejected from that level. And there is also the formation of an inside bar false breakout. This is a clear indication of trend change. See what happens next. The example above shows that counter trend works if it is well mastered. It is a contra contra approach that requires experience. So if you are beginner, I highly recommend you to stick stick with the trend. Try to practice as much as you can the top down analysis concept with the trend and when you master trading with the trend you can then move to trade high prob prob probability counter trend setup there are many approaches used to time the market turns and plan trades the most of these approaches leads to greater confusion and lack of confidence in result Keep the analysis simple in most often the best way to go. Keeping the analysis simple is most often the best way to go. And top down analysis is one of the easiest approach that I recommend to master if you want to trade the right way. What you have to do right now is to open your chart and try to practice what you learned in this chapter. Try to identify the market trend using these techniques. It will be a little confusing at the beginning, but with some screen time and practice, you will find it easy to identify the market direction. Trading strategy and tactics. In the last chapter, you learned three important aspects of price action trading. The first aspect is the market trend. The second aspect is the level. The third aspect is the signal. 
the first aspect the market trend you know how to identify the market trend using multiple time frame analysis you know how to differentiate between trending market and range bond market as you understand how each market moves the second aspect the level you learned how to draw support and resistance and how to draw trade line this skill will help you better enter the market in the right time the third aspect the signal you have seen different candlestick pattern you understand the psychology behind its formation and the message they send you these three aspects which are the trend the level and the signal are what we are we will use in our trading approach to make money trading like financial market i mean that when you open a chart you will try to answer three important question what the market is doing is it trending consolidating or is it choppy market if it is trending you know how to identify if it is an uptrend or downtrend if it is a ranging market you will see that it is trending horizontally between two boundaries and if it is a choppy market you close your chart and you stay away second question what are the most powerful level in the market if the market is trending up or down or in a or it is arranging you will try to find the most important support and resistance level these levels are the best zone where you can buy and sell the market third question what is the best signal to enter the market the best signal to enter the market means the right time to execute your trade and this is what you will learn in next chapter the pin bar candlestick pattern strategy the pin bar candlestick is one of the most famous japanese candlestick it is widely used by price action trader to determine reversal point in the market in this section you will learn in detail how to identify potential pin bar signal and the condition needed for the high probability setup a pin bar is a chart candlestick it is a characterized by a very long tail that shows rejection and indicates that market will move in opposite direction the area between the open and close is called the real body typically all pin bars have a very small real body and a long shadow the bullish pin bar is known for its low risk low wicks and the very lower wicks sorry a bullish pin bar is known for its lower wicks and the very one is characterized by longer long upper wicks the color of the candlestick is not quite important however bullish candle with white real body are more powerful than the candle with real black body on the other hand a bearish pin bar with black real body are more important than the one with the white real bodies see how pin bar looks like below to be on how to identify pin bar candlestick setup to be honest quality price action setup don't exist in the market to be honest quality price action setup don't exist in the market but you will see that sometimes you can find a high probability setup you feel you feel very excited about it and you take your trade with the confidence but at the end you will be frustrated because the signal fails for unknown reason this this that happens a couple couple of times because the market doesn't move due to pin bar formation what moves the market is the law of supply and demand let me give you an example if you identify a quality pin bar candle near a support key level in an uptrend market that is powerful buying signal to take you shouldn't ignore it but if the amount of money that buyers put in that this trade is less than the amount of money that sellers risk in the same trade the market will not go in your predicted direction if the signal fails it doesn't mean that your analysis is wrong or pin bar don't work it is just because the market didn't validate your decision therefore you expect of loss therefore you accept your loss 
and you look for another opportunity. You may ask yourself why should we look for a quality pin bar setup if the market doesn't respect them. As you know, trading is a game of probabilities. There is no certainty that this is why you should evaluate your pin bar setup for multiple angles. This is why you should evaluate your pin bar setup from multiple angles. And the fact that you are looking for quality setup means that you are trying to put the probabilities of success on your favor, which is the right mindset of successful traders. To determine whether or not a pin bar is worth trading, this price action signal should respect the following criteria. The pin bar formed in bigger time frames, such as 4 hour or daily time frame, should be taken into consideration because if you look at this smaller time frame, you will you can easily spot lots of pin bar signal. These setup should be ignored because smaller time frame generate lots of false signal. See the illustration below. The pin bar formed in line with the direction of the market is more powerful than the one which is formed against the trend if you can identify a clear trend that means that you know who is in control of the market the formation of this candlestick pattern with the, with the trend makes it so effective the formation of these candlestick pattern with the trend makes it so effective see the chart below So pin bar against the trend was false signal and pin bar with the trend is a good signal. As you can see in the chart about pin bars that were formed in line with the uptrend word and they should be taken into consideration. But the bearish one that were formed against the trend should be ignored. The anatomy of a pin bar is important as well. You have to make sure that the candlestick is a pin bar by looking at the distance between the real body and the tail. Pin bar with longer tail are more powerful. The psychology behind the pin bar candle formation. Pin bar are formed when the price are rejected. The, rejected doesn't, the rejection doesn't indicate a reversal signal, but this price action setup can form everywhere in your chart. The most important area to watch when trading pin bar are major key levels such as support and resistance, supply and demand zone, and moving average. The formation of this candlestick pattern in this these level give a clear idea what you want in the market. If the rejection was near a support level, for example. That is an obvious indication that the bulls are more powerful and they are willing to push the market upward. See the chart below. If the formation of candlestick pat or pattern occurs near a resistance level, it indicates that bears reject price and, pre and prevent the bulls from breaking the level. So this means the sellers are willing to push the market downward. See the chart below. If you want to understand the psychology behind the price action pattern formation you will be if you understand the psychology behind the price action pattern formation you will be able to predict what is likely to happen in future and you will make good trades based on high probability pin bar signal